The Feast of the Most Chaste Heart of Saint Joseph is celebrated on the first Wednesday after the Feast of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Saint Joseph is known as the Just Man and, as such, was a man of singular virtue. This strength of character, this reign of virtue, extended to all aspects of his life and his person, including his heart. His whole being was oriented to his God. His love was properly ordered, his affections purified. The heart of Saint Joseph should give us great hope that purity of heart lies within our reach, thanks to the grace of God and the intercession of Joseph Most Chaste. Saint Joseph revealed what his most chaste heart looked like. It is a heart set aflame with the love of God, with white lilies spread diagonally across it. Saint Joseph appeared to Edson Glauber in the 1990s. These apparitions were approved by the Church on January 31, 2010 via Bishop Corio Greedy, of the Prelature of Itacoachara. The Bishop made a decree of worship favoring the apparitions. Our Lady in 1995 began to speak to Edson and the apparitions with Saint Joseph took place more frequently in 1998. In the second apparition, the child Jesus said here in this heart you will find me living, because it is pure and saintly. That all hearts could be like this one, so they could be my home on earth. Imitate this heart so that you may receive my graces and blessings. These are Saint Joseph's words from the fourth apparition. The Heavenly Father granted me the honor of representing him, in this world, to take care of his divine and beloved Son, Jesus Christ. My heart was also surprised by so such dignity, I felt incapable and undeserving of such a great favor and benefit, but I put all in the hands of the Lord and, as his servant, I was ready to do his holy will. Because of this great grace and joy that God granted my heart and, by such great mystery, I promise to intercede before him for those who come to me, honoring this heart of mine. The Warnings and Promises During the course of the apparitions, Saint Joseph was incredibly honest about how sinful humanity had become and of the persistence of the attacks of the devil. He said, how sin spreads in a such a strong way. Men let themselves be led by the most insidious wiles of the devil. The enemy of salvation wants to destroy all men so that, this way, all will be lost. He is envious and hates the entire human race. He particularly stressed that the devil would continue to attack humanity's virtue of purity, an attack that has only grown stronger and more vehement since Saint Joseph spoke about it in 1998. Yet Saint Joseph did not leave us without hope, and it is because of this, that God asks all humanity to have devotion to my chaste heart. He wants to give men the grace to overcome the temptations and attacks of the devil in their day-to-day -day lives. Celebrating and spreading this devotion To celebrate and foster devotion to Saint Joseph's heart, he gave directions to pray to him on the first Wednesday of every month in a manner similar to the first Friday and Saturday devotions. You can pray the Rosary of the Seven Sorrows and Joys of Saint Joseph. Saint Joseph also recommended the simple formula of One Our Father, One Hail Mary, and One Glory Be. There are many different prayers to Saint Joseph you can pray on the first Wednesdays. Saint Joseph made two main promises to those who would devote themselves to his heart. The first was that these devotees would be chaste, righteous and holy in God's sign and that Joseph himself would fill them with graces and help them to grow every day in holiness. The second promise was that if his devotees do good works for the sick, dying, and needy, he would petition for them during the time of their death and they would spend their last hours resting in the sacred, immaculate, and chaste hearts. There are more warnings and more promises he gave, but these are the main ones. First Wednesdays, when Saint Joseph appeared on the first Wednesday of March 1998, he had a special request. With the first Friday and first Saturday devotions, he was giving us a companion devotion. He said, on every first Wednesday of the month, my chaste heart pours numerous graces on all who rely on my intercession. On these Wednesdays, men will not receive a shower of simple graces, but very strong torrents of extraordinary graces. I will share them with those who honor me and rely on me, all the blessings, all the virtues, and all the love I received from my divine son Jesus and my spouse the Blessed Virgin Mary while still living in this world and all the graces that I continue to receive in the glory of paradise. Please subscribe to Catholic News World's YouTube channel. Thanks and God bless.